What's up guys, Rob here and welcome back to Red Bull Rising, episode 6 today and we have a game against Real Madrid. The score is covered in the top left hand corner because we have played the first leg, this is the second leg of the Europa League quarter final and it was a surprise result in the first leg, that's where I'm going to leave it until the end of the game but let's sit here and enjoy this game, see if we can get a result against Real Madrid and put ourselves through to the next round. It's going to be a tough ask, Real Madrid are obviously a very good side. But while we're watching the game start, Andre Silva, oh, saved. While, we, while we're watching the game play through, if you're enjoying the series so far, make sure to smash that like button. The support on the series has been amazing so far. It's really, really appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button as well. Plenty more content coming your way. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can get through to a, a Europa League semi-final. Obviously not the competition we wanted to be in a semi-final off, but still a semi-final nonetheless, as Mukiele gives it away to Hazard. Real Madrid did try to sign Mukiele in January, but didn't put any substantial offer in. So it'd be nice to see him do something against his uh, potential new club today. Here is Cruz. Star players all over the pitch for Real Madrid. Mukiele picks it up though. 25 minutes gone and nothing's really happened by that one silver chance. Here comes Mukiele though. Ball through to Paulson. Into Dominic. Falls to Andre Silva. Back to Andre Silva and saved again. Courtois having a good start to the game here. Courtois on a 7.3 already after 30 minutes. It is all us at the minute though, which is good signs for us going forwards. We need to keep it this way though. A win here is vital to keep the season moving. In the league, I th I'm not sure if Bayern have wrapped the league up. I think it's pretty close to be honest. We'll have a look at that after this game. But they've pretty much streaked away. And there is half time at 0-0. It's a steady result, a steady result. Let's go. Outstretched arms. Happy with the performance so far. Leicester 1, Lazio 1 in the other game. Big second half. Mukiele's actually picked up a knock, so we're going to take him off. And Henrix is going to come on on the right-hand side. All I can say, I don't want to ruin what the score is, but a draw would not be a bad result. It would put us through. Here is Zagaritis. Andre Silva on the edge of the box. Haidara into Dominic. Moving the ball around nicely here. We're playing some lovely football to be honest. Big fan of how this system's working at the minute. Henrik's with the ball down the right hand side. Into Mariba. Gets the ball across. Dominic, Andre Silva. Oh, he's got to be offside. Absolutely miles offside, surely. Goal review. Goal awarded. Okay. Did not think he was onside there. Andre Silva with his 34th goal of the season. Ooh, that is close. That is close. Obviously, we're going to go with the fact that we've got the goal, but that was much, much tighter than I thought. We're going to take Dominic off, and Almada, who's been playing very well recently, is going to come on at centre attack in mid. And with 15 minutes to go... This is a fantastic result. A little 1-0 win to put us through to the semi-finals of the Europa League. Here's Courtois. Long ball up. Intercepted. Oh, Lucas Vasquez picks it up. Jovic is through. Jovic finishes. I, th I don't know if he was off or not. The linesman saying off. I thought that looked more onside than Andre Silva's goal. Goal disallowed. Get in there. Lucas Vasquez with the ball through. Oh, that is close. That is close. I've been lying as well. This isn't a Europa League quarterfinal. This is a Europa League semi-final. This is to get through to the final of the tournament. Okay, we need to be a little bit more excited now then. Zagaritis has a booking. We're going to take him off. Adams is going to come on just to make sure he doesn't get any suspensions for the final. Militao, Real Madrid coming into the game a little bit more here. Modric with the ball forward to Jovic. Rodrigo's in. Rodrigo scores. 1-1. One, one. Ten minutes. Well, one minute to play, not ten minutes to play. It's a good goal, that one, to be fair. We'll continue with the change. And that is going to be full time, is it? And with that, we are through to a Europa League final. 
a very, very impressive win, that. Very impressive win. We're going to play forwards, and you are going to see in the first leg, we beat Real Madrid at the Bernabeu 6-1. 6-1 we beat them. Ridiculous result. That's why I was so calm coming into this one. We had a five-goal lead, six away goals as well. So we were always in a comfortable position. But we are through to the Europa League final. We will be playing Lazio in the final after they beat Leicester 8-6 on aggregate. But with all that said, we are going to jump into a little bit of a review of where the league's at and what's to come. Here we are then. We are sitting on the schedule page with the Real Madrid fixture loading up, loaded up on the right-hand side. A 6-1 win. We were 6-0 up before Hazard scored a penalty in the 86th minute. Andre Silva scored four. Paulson scored two and got two assists. What an unbelievable performance it was. There's two tens on the, on the player ratings. That's how good we were. But a 6-1 win obviously made today's game much, much more comfortable. And we are through to Europa League final, which will be the next episode against Lazio. With a chance to win some continental trophy this season. Obviously not the Champions League that we're looking for, but it's a hell of a good start. Obviously would guarantee us through to the Champions League next year. Although if we take a look at the league table, we are in the Champions League next year anyway. We are guaranteed to finish well top four, but also top three as well. We have same points as Dortmund, so we could we could still finish top two. And mathematically, mathematically we could finish top. Obviously, Two games to go, buying a three points clear. So we're going to need them to slip up probably twice, in all honesty, for us to catch them. With their goal difference, there's no way that we can uh, we can get ahead of their goal difference at this point. Um, but in all honesty, a top three finish is a fantastic start for us. Um, and it's all thanks, really, to this man, Andre Silva. He has 34 goals and nine assists this season. 18 in the league, nine in the champion, uh, Europa League, sorry. He has been absolutely phenomenal. 26 years old. Still plenty of years ahead of him. And we're hoping to keep him as that focal point of attack, to be honest. I wouldn't mind getting a striker inside along in alongside him. Paulson's okay, but I just feel like we need a bit more star power. If we take a look at the full squad, as you can see, 34 goals for him. 15 for Paulson. So he's done better than I said, to be fair. And Mariva with 14 from midfield. He's gone quiet recently. He's played a lot of games, so I wonder whether that's starting to have an effect. But he's still got so much potential for the future. In terms of where that, where that leaves us next, as I said earlier, we'll be back for a Europa League final against Lazio with the chance of some silverware on the line. And I, if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know what does. So smash that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and I will see you all for a final in the next episode.